All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. We're excited. Braxton uh, raced last weekend. His bike was completely muddy if you watched our last video. You even have a new front fender on there. So what do you think, Braxton? Excited about that new front fender? Yeah, <laughs> it's going to be a lot easier. So it's pretty cool. He likes the mud races. And so on the counter here, we have some different stages of what your goggles might end up looking like. So I thought it would be a great day to do a little tutorial on roll-offs and why we think they're really good. We'll kind of start at the top, though. So these are tear-offs and some folks uh, prefer tear-offs so how tear-offs work is you take a certain amount however many you would like this comes this one's a 20 pack and there's different styles of tear-offs there's uh, called laminated and then there's just regular tear-offs so laminated come in a seven pack and they're easier to see through because they're they're stuck together more but a little bit harder to tear apart and then this is like a 20 pack uh, for 15 bucks so regular tear-offs the problem is, is you can only stack probably like five or six of these before it starts to get kind of foggy because you're looking through all of these extra layers of lens. One reason people might like a tear off though is that it, it keeps your field of view wider. So if we look through these goggles, let me hold it up to the light. And these lenses are really scratched, so it might be hard to show in here, but let's pretend your eyes are like right in here. You can kind of see how wide our field of view is. And it has to be really close. So there's, there's a regular, and then now I'm gonna hold up the roll-offs. So these roll-offs, you can see where the confusion might be is, is the width of these canisters on the sides. So it kind of brings in your field of view a little. If I can turn it around here. And if you get your eyes way in there, you can kind of see, I'm trying to hold on. Yeah. Like this takes a second to try to grab it. So. You can kind of see how that really restricted it. You can see those canisters on either side in there. But if it's really muddy, this is kind of the way to go. So we would recommend tear-offs if it's just like a normal motocross race where you're doing like four or five laps and you can, you can like pull back in and change them out for the next race. Also to run tear-offs, like on a normal hair scramble that's not super muddy, there might be like two or three mud holes on the whole track so you can kind of tear them off one, you know, one, one a lap or something. Right. You can kind of make do until you really need to pull it. But this last weekend, the race was a complete mutter. It started raining at 5 a.m. And so <laughs> it was like 40 degrees out. So it was just a really long weekend. Yeah. Two races in a row Braxton did. One was an hour, next one was two. So here's like, I cleaned up one of his pairs already. So this is a perfectly clean pair. There's no roll offs in this and I wanted to do a tutorial on how to how to install roll-offs. So I've got a fresh roll ready to go there. This is an example of what happens whenever you run out of roll-offs. So Braxton pulled it all the way through. This canister in here is completely full inside of this tube. That has the whole roll sucked over and there's nothing left in this side of it. You can see the pin is empty over there. So this is what happens. You kind of turn into a regular goggle at that point. I hold it up. So you really can't tell where you're going with that. You have no idea. So that's a regular uh, pair of goggles at that point. Your roll-offs are gone, but that probably gave you what, like 45 minutes of? Yeah, for sure. Which is important. Yeah. And this is a cool example. Braxton, what, would this have been the second race? I think this was yeah. race number two. Yep, because those were like the new ones that we bought out of the package. Race it is two. incredible. Look at how much stuff is packed around. And the roll-off, you can see on this side how much of it was building up on the side of the goggle. So as you was pulling this little string, this little tear down here, it was pulling all the mud across the layer and over to the side. So let's turn it around and show you how good he could still see. How cool is that? So yeah, it's a really, it's more of a limited field of view. Let's hold it, let's like go down toward the bike so we can see like an actual bike size. And um, the camera's making everything look really weird red. Yeah, huh. That's so that's strange. that's that doesn't really do that in the goggle. It's just the way it is. Oh yeah, huh. But um what do you think, bud? You could still I mean you were still going yeah. full speed. You yeah. had plenty of vision. Yeah, I guess the only thing you might not be able to see is just a little bit down here, I guess like 
So it got a little bit narrower yeah, yet because like the mud's building up on this side. Yeah, I guess we just wouldn't be able to snag your tire as well, but I don't know, it doesn't really bug me. But you know what? In the middle of a mud race, yeah. this is so important. Yeah. So we thought I'd give you a little demo right now of how these work. So we can set, we might make a little bit of a mess on the ground and that's okay. There you go. Yeah, why not? So um, actually you might need your hands, but okay, we're gonna make it rain. So just uh, point the camera over here toward the bikes like we have been. I got my soapy spray water here at the shop. And what's cool about these tear offs is let me, you can keep the camera right there. The new style roll offs, I should say, have this lip right here on the lens. You can see we're going to tuck, when we do it, we're going to tuck the roll off underneath of that. So if it rains, it comes down, lands, it's like a roof, you know, layers. It's going to land on here and go over the top of the roll off. It's not going to get in behind it. Because if you get mud, and dirt on the back side of this roll off. If you get it between the film and the lens, you're you're done. So um, let's just give it a demo. So right now, <laughs> I didn't test the spray bottle. All right, so like he's racing. Now it's like super dirty. Let's do this. And then if I pull the string, look how cool that is. So it's back to being there's a little bit of water on there still because I, it's dribbling off the side, but you know, he could pull it again if he needed to. And now we're back to clear vision. So that is so cool how roll offs work. Um, it just protects your eyes. Like it's so important to protect the kid's eyes or, or your eyes even. So that's a roll off in a nutshell. You can kind of just keep going with it. I think it's like, what do you do? Like half a pole, half, like two half a poles gets it all the way over. Or maybe like one, one long pull will do it. No? No. Yeah, it probably would, but that's a really long pull. Yeah, because if you're like, if you're on your bike, you're um, stretching it way over. So that's an example of how they work. And then now let's give you guys a demo on how to reload a set of roll-offs. All right, guys, we'll end this video with a reload. So let's reload these goggles now. So what we'll do is on both sides, there's going to be these little tabs you're going to push out on. So we're going to take our fingers, just kind of push out on it get the tab passed. We can kind of open the door and then there's going to be a pin in there. We need to save one of these pins. There's one new pin already on this set or on that roll. And then I got to open the same door on this side. And I guess got to get your fingers under there and push up on it. This one's had a bunch of mud in it already, so it's not really helping things. So door is off and there's an extra pin in here too. So I try to save the pins because you, if you're at a track doing this, if you lose one, it's nice to have one of these in the gear bag too. So what we're going to do is we're going to start with a full roll over here because we're pulling it with our, our winder this way. So we're going this way with it and we need to keep it in close. So let me show you here. So let's grab this. This tape is important. So we're going to grab this. It's kind of like showing us here to undo it. And I'm kind of taking my time with it. I don't want to hurt it. So we need to save this. And you can see these pins have notches in them, top and bottom. So I guess it doesn't really matter because on this side, you can see our little, our wheel here. I'm trying to get the lighting to, yeah, I can. Yeah. yeah, zoom in. There you go. See how it rotates. That's, that's how it pulls it. So it needs to sit in here and lock into like sits down in and then this goes into place here. So that's that's what it's gonna end up looking like here in a second. Well, it holds it better because the door's in, but that's what it ends up looking like right there. So what we need to do yeah. is take our new roll. They even have like the up arrow. So we're gonna set this on here and we're gonna twist it on. We wanna keep it straight too. We want it to be perfectly in the center of the roll, just like that. And start taking it and start twisting it on. That way the tape is on top of itself. And right about here, we're perfect. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna set this. I might have to zoom in. They're coming a little bit closer because it's clear. It's hard to show what we're really doing. I'm getting it up underneath that eyebrow. So you can see how it's going up underneath there. And we'll set the canister in that side. It's hard to tell, like, oops. Because you it's just clear. It up underneath here. Yep, it's up underneath the brow. And then now this side just sits in in there. There's no gear for it to go into. 
but this side it has that gear that we were just talking about. So what we're going to do is set it down in its groove and set it in place. So now we're, we're pretty much locked and loaded here. And I'll wind it back just a little bit. So now we got to take our doors and they're, they're like pretty straightforward, like left and right door. So kind of have to catch it up underneath. If I can get it to catch here. And maybe let's try the right door. That's much better. So kind of have to catch the grooves. Once the grooves are caught, we now go down here. We just snap it in. That one snapped in place. And I'm keeping the goggles flat because this could this could tip out and then it would be like a roll of paper towels going across the floor. And we'll do this side here. Get that groove in. I don't want to waste them, but we're going to give you a little bit of an example here. So now we've got them fully loaded. We're just going to pull this. You can kind of see it. So now we're, we're fully locked in. Everything's good to go. So this set of roll-offs is ready to go for next weekend. All right, guys, that was just a really quick video on how to do roll-offs and why we like them. We got that set fully ready to go. We've got a lot of cleaning to do on these two sets, but we're ready for next weekend. See you at the race.